Hello Automation and Well Lovers, welcome back to KT Sessions. Today we are diving into the world of web automation with Automation Anywhere's browser package. This powerful tool lets you automate tasks within web browsers, saying, saving your time and effort. So now what is the browser package? The browser package provides a set of actions specifically designed for interacting with web pages. Imagine a virtual assistant that can navigate websites, fill out forms, click buttons, and even extract data. So that is the power of browser package. So let me go to control room and uh, when we search for browser, we will get this package. Get this one dear, you can get a tag. Browser package. And uh, let me show you the version of this package. So in this session, I'm going to use 3.11.0. All right, so I will go to this browser package and you can see seven, eight actions of this package are available. First of all, we are going to open the browser or we are going to. So, so we have this browser open action and uh, for example, I want to open my website in uh, Google Chrome browser. So I will uh, choose this browser open action and uh, here uh, what to open. So I'm going to open a new window and uh, new window in the selected browser so i will select the browser so there are five options available because uh, uh we can use uh any of the browser means chrome explorer firefox or edge uh, whichever browser are available in your system and uh, if you select a default browser then it will open open the browser uh, which you have set as default uh, but i want to open the window in the google chrome so i will select google chrome and link to open so here you need to give the url so I will give the link of uh, my blog. Okay. So let's see how it works. I will save this and I will run this. And here we go. It has opened a new window and it is launching the website. See, it is very easy to launch a website. Okay, how uh, your board run has successfully. Okay, let me close this. So this is very easy to use. You can just uh, input the URL which you want to open and you can select the browser type. And also there are options to open the existing tab or a new tab in a open browser. For example, in this uh, browser, I want to open a new tab. So manually I click on this one. And uh, if I if I want to perform this operation with the help of uh, automation anywhere then uh, I can choose this open action and I will click uh, on new tab and here we can uh, select the tab name okay so for example I want to open the last used browser tab so I will save and I will run this so it will open the tab which I used recently or the last used tab see it has opened that website uh, that was my existing or the last used tab so in the same uh, browser it has opened this tab I means it hasn't opened any new window but in the previous run we run uh, we have uh, opened the tab in the new window similarly we can open the existing tab from this option also we can select the existing tab so it will open that existing tab so this is how we can open the tabs all right so for example uh, i have opened this uh, browser tab so now i want to close this for that we have one more uh, action close okay so first of all i will open a new window and uh, i will open this in the google chrome browser and uh, this is the url it will launch and uh, after that i will close that okay so again in the close in the closed uh, action also we have same uh, options so we can select uh, what we want to close so i want to close the window and uh, the name of the window is so we can refresh this so it will capture all the open window so our this window is opened so you need to cap keep it uh, open so that your browser can uh, check uh, get this okay so this is the window which we have uh, opened see uh, on the title is home 
okay so i have selected this home so as soon as i selected this window we can see the details of this window browser title home and a case sensitive and all we can uh, uncheck this and the link of the web page is this one and browser application google chrome so uh, this will uh, close this particular window so let me show you let me uh, disable the open and let me run the bot see this tab is opened okay our bot is running and it will close this tab no need to close it manually you can ask a browser to do all these things you can create a bot uh, to perform all these actions in your day to day life see that tab has closed successfully so this is how we can open or close the tabs or uh, open any window any tab or any website so there are a lot of uh, actions available uh, under this browser package we will uh, discover all these in the upcoming videos on javascript uh, we have already posted one video okay so this was the close action now we can see one more action go back so guys now see in day to day life we open websites or web pages and then we navigate to other pages of that website okay for example i'm opening this blue prism page or uh, let's open one more page a360 so now i am open two web pages also now i have opened three web pages first of all i have i have launched uh, this website then i navigated to the blue prism page and then i navigated to the uh, this automation anywhere a360 page okay now i want to come back to the home page so i will click on this back button why time so it will uh, came to this uh, uh blue prism page and when i uh, click on again so it will uh, come back to the home page okay so manually we can uh, click on this back arrow or uh, so we can perform these steps with the help of automation anywhere also i will go back to my control room and here in the browser action we can see browser in the browser package we can see a uh, go back action so i will take this action and in this we need to give the tab name of the tab okay i will disable this close action and uh, in the go back and here i can see this post tab you can see the title of this tab is post post okay i will select this post tab and the title is this one link of app page is this one chrome uh, application is chrome okay so here we can select see we can input the number of steps back so how many steps we want to come back so i will give uh, two steps we want to come back and uh, throws an error if steps exceed history so it will throw an error if you enter more than uh, step if you enter the number of steps uh, which are more than uh, history so in this case we okay so i have given two steps and i will save this and uh, open and close action are disabled so i will run this port and i will go to this page and it has come back to the home page and when we go to the bot it has done successfully so let me show you this another scenario so if we check this throws an error if steps exceed history and we will give four step now i will save this and i will again open that uh, bots page and run the bot see it has came back to this tab and uh, we got this uh, error error occurred while navigating to previously visited web page but when uh, three it was it was able to come three steps back but when it was trying to come four steps back so it uh, didn't find any web page so it has thrown that error so this is how we can uh, use this go back action and on uh, javascript we have already posted one video you can check out those and uh, this download file and uh, find broken links we will cover these uh, actions in the upcoming videos so thank you guys for watching this video do let me know if you have any doubt or any question uh, on this browser actions actions of browser or any other automation anywhere topic in general thank you guys bye